after my, what was it, th third open heart surgery, um, my lungs collapsed, and so they brought it in a pillow. And um, when I tried to squeeze it, it was much too big for me. So I decided to, to um, make um, smaller ones for smaller kids, such as this. She was learning how to sew. She would start sewing one pillow a day. What she wanted to do was help other kids. She's a very loving little girl, and it was like an instant decision for her. When you consider that every one in 100 children is born with a congenital heart defect, then people know people who have surgeries or have surgeries coming up, and then as they would have these cute, adorable little pillows in the hospital, other families are like, oh my goodness, where did you find that? That is so adorable. And so word started to spread. And Lorelai and I were like, well, what do we do? And Lorelai's like, well, they need it. We need to get it to them. We started handing out these patterns to different civic groups throughout the community, such as Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, 4-H, nursing homes. They came out of the woodwork and they started making the pillows and it became so big. I've sent pillows to Ireland, the rest of the UK, Spain, Vietnam, Canada. You work on every continent except for Antarctica because we don't know any penguins with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. <laughs>